So we are here to get our people to repentance. Our brothers got to realize they're the mightiest thing that God put on this earth. And it's time for us to leave. take a soul, stand fast in the faith. People need me, so I can't fall. We trying to elevate Enoch or Elijah for the Messiah. Keeping commandments, not try even fire. You filthy if you full of sin. The kingdom you won't enter in. Why she making clean for the husband comes to clean? These well, women I'm are tired of it. Rest, so I'll make it plain. Messiah coming only for the elect. You better walk circumspect on the highways and hedges. Purge that spiritual house of all heaven. Charge of a prophet. They think they're tired. Of they are the tired. Brothers, Charge where you at? Of a prophet. Charge of a prophet. Gotta stay the lost soul. Who's the king? Right. Who's the king? Right. What time is it? What? Do you know who we are? I do, get you know. Do you know who you are? Yeah. Who are you? A man. You a man? According to the Bible, you are an Israelite man. That's, That's right. right. All right? right. You're God's chosen people. That's right. right. You know? Sister, who are you? I'm a woman. A woman of God? Yeah. Okay. We're going to touch on that. I belong to the healing death of God in Christ. Okay. You belong to the Most High God. Hold on, brother. Don't walk away too soon. Come here. No, no, I got my hey. Hold on. What's your name? My name is Mother Carter. Mother Carter. Mother Carter. Yes. Check this out, Mother Carter. I'm going to show you some out of the Bible. Read what you got. You know? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 16. Bring it out! Cursed shall thou be in the city. Mother Carter, what city we in right now? We in Chicago. We in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Mother Carter, what nation of people are cursed in the city of Chicago right now at this very moment? What What people, whether black, so called black, so called white, so-called Chinese. What nation of people are cursed right now in Chicago? Huh? Let's read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. All I see is my people. When I look on the news, when people get shot down in the streets, when they prostitute each other, game bay, all I see is my people. I don't see this Chinese man. I don't see the white man. I don't see the Arab man. All I see is people that look like me and you. So read that again. Curse shall thou be in the city. So in the city of Chicago, Los Angeles, uh, New York City, yes. Miami. Yes. When you go in the cities, all you see the curses amongst the so-called blacks, Hispanic Native Indians. That's right. You understand that? Yes. Watch this. Just so you can identify with this. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. What nation of people was cursed in the field? Take a look at this sign right here. Who, who was cursed in the fields? Well, well, that's why we got the pictures right here. We got, right. If you can't read that, that's okay. We got pictures. Who was cursed in the fields? Look, take a look at the pictures. Who was these people right here that was cursed in the fields? Picking cotton. Oh, yes. Who was that? I used to do it. I come up. That's us. Yeah, yeah. Our ancestors, our foremothers, our forefathers. So did you know that this was prophesied in the Bible? Well, we're showing you out of the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, that the Bible was talking about the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Indians. That's right. it says we was going to be cursed in the cities wherever we go. We was going to be cursed in the field, picking cotton, sugar cane, tobacco. Do you understand that? Watch this. Verse 32. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? Whose sons and daughters was taken from them and given to another people? Bring it up. Who did that happen to? You steady said it was, it was, it was talking about us, our foremothers, our forefathers. That's right. Take a look at this sign. Look, look at this right here. Look, look at this right here. What is that? Who, who holding him? I want you to say it on the mic. Say it again. Bring it out. The white man. That's what, right. What the white, what the white man doing? Using the blacks. That's right. He's, That's he's right. auctioning off the black. Take a look at it. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters. So your sons and your daughters, read. 
shall be given unto another people. He was auctioned off to other people. That's your, right. uh, your, your great great grandfather, he was auctioned off to another people. Bring it up. Sold to Master Charles of Virginia. Bring it up. Sold to, sold to uh, Master Johnson in West Virginia. Right. All right? Read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. And when they were sold to other nations, all we can do is look at it and just cry. We, we, we can do nothing about it. Bring they it took up. your son out of your hand, sold him to another slave master in Virginia. You understand? Read. For them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. And when they sold your children, there was no might or power in your hand, economically or physically. You couldn't do nothing about it. Bring it you up. just had to sit back and watch, and just let the salt water tears fall down your cheeks. You understand? Watch this. Any more on that? Give me verse 37. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 37. And thou shall become an establishment. It says what? Thou shall become an establishment. Hold the Bible up so she's not confused with what you read. Okay. That's the Holy Bible. King James verse, right? Read that again. And thou shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. Whether the Lord shall lead thee. Watch this. I want you to read that again. I'm going to break that down so you can understand it and so you can understand it. Read. It out, and the Lord, and thou shall become an astonishment. So Moses prophesied that when we break God's commandments, we as a nation was going to become an astonishment. That's right. An astonishment is an amazement, meaning like, wow, look at the gods of the earth. They niggas now. Right. They shining shoes. Bring it out. They dunking basketball. Wow. Look at that black man run. That's an astonishment. Bring it up. Let's go from gods of the earth to the bottom of society picking cotton. That's right. That's an astonishment. Don't get it twisted. When you see these other nations come here and they tour in Chicago, they taking pictures. They they ain't taking pictures of these buildings. They taking pictures of you. That's you. Right. Wow. Look at the look at the. Wow, silly Billy Gumdrops. Look at the Negroes. Look Bring at the up. Negroes. They take a picture. You're an astonishment now. Read. A proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. It's like a stereotype. All black women are baby mamas. All black men are baby fathers. All black people like chicken and watermelon. That's, right. Bring it That's what we become now. Right. The other nations look at us like that. Right. That's how they view us in their eyesight. Bring it up. The most high God said, That's what we was going to become in their eyesight. Read. And a byword. And a byword. You'll be called by every word except what you was originally called. That's, That's right. A byword is something you call outside of your original name. Right. right. You are the real Jews. That's, That's right. right. You are the Israelites the Bible speak of. But today you are known as African American. That's a byword. You are known as Puerto Rican. That's a byword. You are known as Mexican. That's a byword. Right. You understand? You are known as Dominican. That's a byword. Right. Bring it out. Take a look at this sign on here. What is your biblical name? Take a look on this side, you too. Find your biblical name on that. What tribe are you really from? What's your nationality? We had to restore that back to you because it was taken away from us. Where you at? Where you see yourself at? Number one, number two, number three? What uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna help you out. Judah, American blacks. Teach. Benjamin, West Indians, them the so-called Jamaicans. You know? Levi, them the so-called Haitians. Teach. Where do you where do you see yourself in? Are you Haitian? So called Haitian? Are you so called Jamaican? Are you so called African American? Where do you see yourself? You number one? You Judah? I heard that, but I didn't. I ain't asking about your denomination. You number two. So you from the tribe of Benjamin? That's you right. You from the tribe of Benjamin? So is my wife. My wife from the tribe of Benjamin. Bring it out, Rob. I, want to, I don't want to assume what tribe you're from. She said she's from the tribe of Benjamin. She found, she identified herself, right? I want to show you what tribe, the tribe of Christ, what, tri what tribe was Christ from. Watch this. We're going to show you also that Jesus the Christ is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. For it is evident. It is evident. We have evident, biblical evidence. We have proof, read, that our Lord sprang out of Judah. That our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, the black man, read, of which tribe, which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Jesus the Christ sprang out of the tribe of Judah. All right? Yes, right? So our Lord and Savior, the leader of all Israelite men and women, is from the tribe of Judah. 
Give me Romans 11, eight, and, one. 11 and 8, 11, 11 and 1 and 2. Yep. You from the tribe of Benjamin, right? Watch this. Give me the book of Romans chapter 11. This is the book of Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. Bring it on! I say then, have God cast away his people? Uh -huh. God forbid. So Paul, Paul was asking a, rhetor a rhetorical question. He said, did God cast away his people? He said, God forbid, meaning no. He didn't do that. Read. For I also am an Israelite. He said, I also am an Israelite. Paul claimed his nationality. For some reason, our people come up to us. They, we, we teach them who they are, but they're scared. They're still timid, but that's okay. We're going to help you out. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. Watch what Paul said. Of the seed of Abraham. That's right. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Yeah, so that's right. Paul was letting us know that he is from the seed of Abraham, meaning he's part of the covenant. But he's from the tribe of Benjamin. All right? Paul was a so-called Jamaican as well. Believe that. Understand it. Now, here's a question. Now, we were talking about the curses, right? We fit these curses today. What, this is just a quick recap. What caused us to go into the conditions that we are today? Deuteronomy 28. All right? What caused us to go into the conditions of being at the bottom of society, going, up, going into slavery? What caused that? Well, we know who did it to us, but what caused us to what caused that to happen to us? Our uh, sin. There you go. What's your name, sister? Marie. I'm sorry, Marie. You are 100 percent correct. We gonna read it one more time. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, we went into sl captivity slavery because we broke the commandments. We sinned. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.